Money's building, I'm an alcoholic, and this show is called Bonfires. Ever since I was a child, I've always loved bonfires. I think most children do. I was mesmerised with all those flames jumping around and the and the embers and the and the sparks and all that went with having a bonfire. And I used to sit and look at them for hours, late into the evening. It was some somehow hypnotic. We had, as children, bonfire nights every year in November, and then in the Cubs and Scouts we learnt to cook on open fires. When my children were growing up, we had bonfires in our orchard, after having a good tidy up in the garden. It's the best feeling in the world to see all those leaves and twigs and the mess that you've cleared up from the garden all to disappear into a tiny pile of ashes. And in some small way, burning all the grass and the hedge clipping, sweeping up all the fallen leaves, was not too dissimilar to what has happened to me in sobriety. Where, through the twelve steps, I've thrown away all my old stuff. I've cleared away my unwanted feelings, I've reduced my overgrown ego, I've trimmed the excesses of my life, all on to a 12-step bonfire of Alcoholics Anonymous. And over time, the flames of AA have sent the unwanted debris of my past up to my higher power in the sky. It's the best house cleaning ever. It's such a wonderful feeling to make the road ahead of me in recovery just a little bit more manageable, to hand over all that unwanted fear and all those resentments from my drinking days and to watch as 25 years of active alcoholism goes miraculously up in smoke. Where it all went, I don't know. But what I do know is this. When you start to experience the joys of a new life, when the path ahead of you is empty of the old, life becomes more manageable. It opens up new choices and the road ahead starts to be filled with the green new shoots of recovery. The empty space created by clearing out all the wreckage of my past is now where my higher power has now moved into. But as with every clear out in life, with every spring cleaning, with every bonfire, with every 12 step journey, there is something that follows. And that's the day after and the day after that. And with each passing day, whether it's in sobriety or in life or in the garden, more debris, starts to occur. More feelings arise and more dust accumulates. And that's why in my recovery, in my recovery journey, a regular clear out is always essential. I had one yesterday with my old sponsor and for a few short hours the garden was clean and tidy. It's another wonderful feeling just like at the end of a day having a big, big bonfire, but wishing things to stay clean and tidy forever, wishing for a continuing manageability, hoping for everlasting grace and humility is just not going to happen, not to this alcoholic anyway. And so back to meetings I go, back to helping others, back to working a programme, and back to trying to enlarge on my spiritual journey and my spiritual life. It's not rocket science to know that I've got to continuously keep my side of the street clean. But unfortunately, many people give up halfway through and it's a lesson I've got to learn from and to never, ever forget. And the lesson is this, the weeds that I cleared up yesterday won't keep the path of tomorrow clear. 
because new weeds will always keep on growing. Bill the shirt, Bristol. <laughs>